Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can run our uh, API or any website which is still under development and we are still working on this and kind of we want to get some feedback from user and we want to make it temporarily public. Okay, or let's say there is some API which you are currently uh, developing and you want to do some testing which requires your website or your API to be temporarily available over the public internet. Okay, so how you can achieve such kind of things in this video, we are going to learn that. Now, if you look carefully on the screen, what I have here is I have downloaded an HTML website template from this website. And then this template I'm running on my local system. Okay, so if you see this website, it is just running on my local system. And also here on the address bar, you can see it is saying localhost uh, colon 8080. So this uh, is definitely running on my local system. Now, if I want to expose it over the public internet, I need to uh, host it over, you know, domain or host it over some hosting website, which can be, uh, you know, uh, difficult or which can be, which cannot be cost effective. Let's say if you are still under development and you want to take domain or hosting later on, or probably you just want to uh, do it for practice or probably just for some fun program or probably for some learning. In that case, you don't really want to go ahead and uh, host it permanently over any of the hosting providers or by using any domain name so what we can do rather is there there, there are some services uh, such as one service which i have here is ngrock.io okay but literally there are many such services which you can uh, google and you can find out that there are services which is going to uh, give you temporarily tunnel okay so all you have to do is so for example in this case all i had to do is I had to go to ngrock.com and I had to download an utility okay and after that uh, there is one command which I had to execute so for example I'm just going to cancel it and if you see uh, under the downloads I have downloaded ngrock hyphen stable hyphen windows okay so this is ngrock for windows and if you just do bit of uh, google and let's say if I do ngrock download windows then you are going to be taken to the program where you can download ngrock okay now you can download it for uh, windows or you can download for any other operating system depending on whichever operating system you are on but once you download it now next process is very simple again everything is well documented here but just in case uh, you want to know i'm just going to quickly show it to you so if you see here once the program is downloaded now uh, it is under ngrock hyphen stable hyphen window amd folder and Inside this, there is one utility which is called ngrock. Now, so what ngrock does is it is going to uh, give you a public URL. Okay, so once I run it, now what I'm telling here is I'm telling that uh, I'm running a service on localhost 8080. Okay, and this is the service which I want to make public. So I'm just going to write this and going to hit enter. And once we do it, now what it is doing is it is creating a public uh, URLs. Okay, so if you see this URL which it, it has created, it is a public URL which it has created. Now it is saying if I want HTTPS then I can just go ahead and copy this URL and then I can run it over internet. So if for example if I want to open it on my mobile I can open it as well. If I want to share it uh, with my friends I can give this URL and then they'll be able to uh, see exactly uh, this website which we were running on our local host okay, or local system or local computer. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm just going to uh, paste this URL here. Now you can see this is a URL uh, which we just copied and I'm just going to run it and you will see this is going to show you exactly the same website uh, which is being shown here on this window. Okay, so this is the one. Now you see the speed is going to be a little slower because any website or any tunnel which is providing you public URL, they usually throttle, uh, uh, throttle the speed. So that's why if you see the speed is going to be a little slower, but it still does a work okay so now your website has become publicly accessible and now notice one thing here is i'm on i have not signed up on ngrock okay so without signing up as well you can use their services but if you sign up in that case uh, you are not going to get disconnected frequently so uh, now uh, i connect to ngrock and then after three hours i my session gets disconnected okay then i have to run this program again or basically i have to restart again so for example if i restart it again you will notice that uh, URL changes okay so if you don't want something like that now for example if you see this URL uh, once I restarted this services has changed okay so if you want URL uh, to uh, you know if you want ngrock to not get disconnected and have the same URL for the longer period of time then you may sign up 
And again, as I told you, NG Rock is not the only provider which is doing or uh, giving any service like this. There are many such service providers which you can make use of. And uh, there are many scenarios in which you want to use something like this. For example, I, as I uh, shown you, you may use it when you are developing a website or let's say you are working on Flask. So for example, here you can see I'm working on Flask and I may want to expose my you know, APIs uh, over public uh, internet for uh, temporarily okay so for example i was actually uh, creating some flask program and you can see the reference of this in my previous video as well and i wanted to connect it with webhook okay so if you know uh, if you want to connect any webhook then you need to provide a new url which is uh, available on public internet so in that case again uh, i had just had to do some quick testing for an hour or two and this service was very useful for that purpose Okay, uh, so there are many such services which you can go ahead, Google, and then you can start using it. So, okay, so this these are the services which are very useful and get your work done quickly. So that's all I had for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any query, feel free to write to me in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching.